All right, pregame thoughts, Padres and the Giants. Mexico City, first of two. Padres obviously had the day off yesterday. There was a workout. They had some events, some clinics with some young players, which was cool to see. Uh, but we get back to the baseball today. Joe Musgrove on the mound for the Padres against Sean Manaya, old friend. Um, I was looking at his game logs, and it's pretty interesting. Like, there's some outings where he goes, like, four innings. But then his last outing, he went like an inning and a third, barely through any. So I don't know what's up with that situation there. Uh, but he gets the ball for the Giants. Obviously, his comments irritated a lot of Padres fans in the offseason when he said, yeah, I was lazy. Like he admitted that he was lazy at some point last season. And that is not what we wanted to hear as Padres fans because Manaya was the one that gave up that lead in game four. There were a couple leads. One of them was given up by Sean Manaya. So yeah, that, that sucks that... Now that he's with a division rival, now he wants to start working. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if he gets smacked around today because it is in Mexico City. The elevation is over 7,000 feet, which is higher than Coors Field. It's a lot higher than Coors Field. So I would think that there's going to be a lot of runs scored in this series. And hopefully this is where the Padres offense can start to pick it back up. I'm not or just get consistent, you know, over these these next couple games here have two breakout games because this offense obviously has a lot of talent on the team and it just has not been able to have those like back-to-back -back blowout games, right? And so wouldn't that be great to have that in Mexico City today and tomorrow? Um, give the starting pitchers some big run support because Darvish, remember there was that one start, he's pitching tomorrow, but there was that one start where he didn't, he gave what, what one run, like seven innings and the offense got shut out. They lost one nothing. Like that cannot be happening in Mexico City. Uh, the over under. I saw John Schaefer posted this. I think yesterday or maybe earlier this morning. The over under is like 15 runs for this game. So yeah, the people that are putting these odds together, these over unders, they definitely think that a lot of runs are going to be scored. And the Giants don't come out to me as like this amazing offensive team. And the Padres, they have not been amazing offensively this year. So they're really putting the elevation. They're putting a lot of stock into that elevation. And if all if all that comes out of this series is Juan Soto's confidence comes back because he has two great games, then I think that's a success because Juan has really been struggling. He's hit, uh, hitting under 200. There's all the talk about the Padres maybe change some of his mechanics and his swing or whatever from that former coach uh, that spoke to Hector Gomez the other day. Flat out, he just hasn't been himself. He's rolling over the ball, not taking the ball to the opposite field. So, you know, maybe he can feel better coming out of these couple games, and then he can take that and continue to do well offensively when the Padres go back home to face the Reds and then the Dodgers. But Mexico City and San Diego, Peco Park, those are two different things. So just because I do want to put that warning out there, just because the offense performs well these, these next couple games here, today and tomorrow does not mean that they're back. Uh, we're going to have to see a, a bigger sample size than two games. But every game matters. These games do matter. So let's go win these games. You know, like Matt Carpenter, I think he told Kevin AC the other day, like we do still view it as a business trip. So that's what the Padres got to do here. Uh, lineup today, Manny was hitting fifth in the series finale. He is now hitting second, lefty in Manaya. So they're putting a bunch of left or righties, excuse me, try to put a couple righties up top, have a mostly right-handed hitting lineup. Nola's catching, Nelson Cruz is in there, Tatis leading off, Manny hitting second, Bogart's hitting fourth, a lot of righties in there. Um, bullpen in a good spot because they had the day off yesterday. Um, so. We'll see who pitches in the bullpen. I mean, hopefully not a lot of arms are going to have to be used in one game of these two games because of how many runs get scored. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what Bob Melvin's approach is going to be with the pitching. Like, just because Musgrove gives up maybe three or four runs or Darvish gives up three or four runs, is he like, all right, that's it? Or is, is he like, well, let's consider the environment that we're playing and let's just get these guys to their pitch count and hopefully our offense can score a lot of runs because we're in Mexico City as well. You know, both teams are playing there. 
Uh, so we'll see. So first pitch today, a little after 3 o'clock, and then tomorrow is a day game.